the country's COVID-19 crisis. Indonesia is stepping up efforts to stop the entry of COVID-19. The coronavirus outbreak. The country's COVID-19 crisis escalated. I want to introduce myself. My name is Fatia Ranakipa Putri Suryana, or you can call me Tia, from Political Science 2019. This time, my partner and I, Kenny, will show you five ways to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Let's take a look. The first one applies social distancing, or you can isolate yourself in your own home. The virus spreads commonly from person to person. Information from the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic suggests that this virus is spreading more efficiently than influenza, which is highly contagious. That's why avoid close contact is a very important thing to do. It's spread through respiratory droplets produced when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. These droplets can land in the mouths or noses of people who are nearby or possibly be inhaled into the lungs. Some recent studies have suggested that COVID-19 may be spread by people who are not showing symptoms. For example, please be aware that this video was recorded a few days before the COVID-19 causes a lot of casualties in Indonesia. This video was my last day on campus. So, this is my friend, her name is Acha. At that time, she was aware that she was sick. Relax, she only had a fever. But at that time, the coronavirus is already here. She prepared to use the mask on and act that she was already contained by that virus. This is a very important thing to do to protect yourself and the people surround you. My friend and I decided to greet each other for the last time directly by hugging from the distance because we know that is the best thing to do for both of us. The second one is you have to keep clean your hands very often. Wash your hands often with soap and water for at least 20 seconds, especially after you have been in a public place or after blowing your nose, coughing, sneezing, or touching something very dirty. Don't forget to wash between your fingers, under your nails, and the top of your hands. soap and water are not readily available, use a hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% of alcohol. Cover all surface of your hands and rub them together until they feel dry. Please do remember to avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. The third one is to clean and disinfect. It may be possible that a person can get COVID-19 by touching a surface or object that has the virus on it and then touching their mouth, nose, or possibly their eyes. This is not thought to be the main way the virus spreads, but we are still learning more about this virus. That's why it's important to clean and disinfect frequently touch surfaces daily. This includes tables, doorknobs, slide switches, countertops, handles, desks, phones, keyboard, toilet, faucets, and sinks. If surfaces are dirty, please clean them right away. You can use detergent or soap and water before disinfection. So, the next phase in preventing the spread of COVID-19 is eating nutritious food. By consuming nutritious food, it will help our body to produce vitamins on it and will also boost the immune system. What is nutritious food? Nutritious food are foods that contain vitamins, minerals, and proteins. Indonesians like to call it 
the example are meat, vegetable, fruits, egg, etc. Aside from nutritious food, we also can consume vitamins to improve our immune system. First, before you go out, you should use a mask because it's prevent the COVID-19 getting inside to your body. However, it is advisable not to go out and keep ourselves to stay at home. So those are five ways to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Let's keep healthy and keep fine. Bye-bye. Stay safe, guys.